I, I, to be in the sciences and mathematics, but especially in the sciences, is a training in writing logically because the flow chart has to go, as John Ashbery <laughs> would know, uh, from A to Z. I mean, you can't sort of do a whimsical and fanciful flow chart. <laughs> it has to be done according to principles of sequence logic, and it all has to come out right. I mean, the left has to balance the right, so to speak, in any equation. So you learn about sequencing things in a very natural way. Then I think also from organic chemistry, which I liked a lot. I like the stereometric structures and the sense of um, the architecture of the complex molecules interested me. And I think that goes right over into poetry because poetry has a complex inner architecture and can be looked at from various angles, um, depending on whether you're looking, it down, looking down at it in a sort of planar way or whether you're looking at it from below or from the sides. And I think that training in three-dimensional thinking was what let me see poetic structure. I don't know how people see it without it, I guess. But it was, for me, the way in.